family member who is seriously ill and you cannot provide the care or the comfort they need, listen up, because we want to introduce you to a place that can improve the quality of life for your loved one and for your family. Joining me this morning is Lisa Acosta and Carmen Benavides. They are with Sima Hospice. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. It's good to talk to you guys this morning. You know, when I was uh, prepping for this segment, uh, I, I, I was, was thinking about the fact that so many families who have uh, members of their family who, who are not well, they want to do something, and sometimes they don't know where to go. They don't know what kind of help is available. I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of hospice, if you can. Yeah. Um, for some terminally ill patients, hospice provides a more... Um, dignified or comfortable alternative to patients being in their last months of life and um, to have to be in a hospital. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we help to benefit is that we work together um, with the family and physician and we try to come up with a plan of care for them. We try to support the patient and the family and um, we try to improve their quality of life for the patient and the family. Mm -hmm. um, just because people elect hospice doesn't mean that they're giving up. It's sure, absolutely. Right. It's actually providing a more appropriate level of care yes. in their last phases of life. And we also help with anxiety. We decrease the terminally ill patient and the family's anxiety by helping them um, live the remaining of their life to the fullest and also to help them have some level of acceptance. Mm -hmm. One of the things we see often and most often is that when a patient is going through any kind of a illness, it does affect the family. It's, it's a family, uh, it's a journey for the family. So certainly improving the quality of life for the patient and family is what hospice does. Now, what is covered when a person elects hospice care? When, uh, you know, within the United States, uh, Medicare, Medicaid, and most insurance covers the benefit of hospice. Uh, what it comes with the hospice benefit is uh, uh, medical equipment at mm -hmm. home, medications, and also some medical supplies. This is at no cost to the families. Uh, we have an interdisciplinary team that kind of meets and oversees what is the family needing at that point in mm -hmm, time, mm -hmm. uh, which is including nursing care, chaplain services, social worker. Uh, we also provide uh, respite care, provide uh, inpatient care as well. Mm -hmm. Now, is the delivery of hospice care always in the home, or can you take uh, the, the patient uh, elsewhere? Oh, okay. You can you can provide hospice care anywhere when the patient calls at home. Yeah. Could be a retirement community, could be nursing home, could be assisted living. Uh, sometimes the patients are cared for at home that they need an inpatient care unit yeah. that we can provide to support the care they need. Uh, we are very proud to announce that we just opened our uh, comfort care suite inside Southwest General, mm -hmm. which uh, okay. provides uh, uh, thank you, yeah. which provides uh, home, home away from home feeling to the families, and we can support them. So we are glad to provide that service to our San Antonio community. Wonderful! Thank you so much, ladies, for being here. A lot of important information.